Welcome back everybody, Mike here. Today's video is part three in the best tractor attachment to maintain your gravel driveway. The first video in this series, I used a seven foot rear blade on the RK37. The next video, I used a seven foot land plane on the RK55. I've actually did two videos with that land plane. First one was on a private drive that I own. Uh, the residents that live along there, it's a long story, I explained it in the other video. Anyway, they kept ordering stone over the years and it was like a clean washed limestone and it kind of acts like marbles, just rolls to the side. But anyway, I ended up getting a pretty nice finish with the land plane after I used the rear blade to bring as much of it back on the road as I could. And then I used the land plane on uh, my own driveway, which has been there a long time. And I never put any rock on that driveway since I uh, built it. And that was well over 20 years ago. But that driveway uh, I built right, you know, with geotextile, three to four inch limestone, then crusher run, which is inch and a half down to dust, packed really hard. And the land plane works very well on that. First couple passes, it'll bounce a little bit on you. You just take your time. But third, fourth pass, it just kind of smooths out. You're getting a little bit of loose material to work with, and it really levels it up nice. Now, my driveway, I kind of had pitched to the one side just a little bit. That's the side I want the water to go on. But I am going to be putting some stone on that driveway here soon. Uh, it needs some. I haven't done that since I built it. So tonight, we're going to use the box blade, and I am on uh, the driveway down at the new home that we bought. It's a property that joins ours. Uh, if you follow this channel, you know that whole story. But anyway, this driveway here, uh, it's been here since the mid-60s probably, and I know that they put stone on it over the years, but it kind of, there's a lot of organic material on it, and it's a lot of dirt mixed in with it. It's kind of soft, uh, and so I'm going to redo this driveway. So what we're going to do here this evening is use this box blade to try to take some of this stone off and just kind of see what's here. And then if it's halfway decent material that I'm pulling off of it, I'm going to pile it up and hopefully use that as bedding material where I have to replace a culvert because then I'm going to put all new stone on this driveway. Uh, it probably sounds silly taking what's on here off, but it's just soft. It's kind of spongy and I want to get the geotextile down. And I don't want to just put that on top of everything because the driveway is going to be higher than what I want it to be in, in a lot of places. So anyway, let me show you what I got here. And uh, like I said, this one here, we're just going to try to pull some of this material off, pile it up, and hopefully it will be suitable for like bedding material around a new culvert pipe. And then sometime next week, I'll redo this uh, driveway. So I apologize for any wind noise, it's extremely windy. So I'm gonna start right about here and just take this material the whole way out almost to where the tractor is. Just taking a little bit at a time with the box blade.
So sort of a good news, bad news kind of thing. The good news is the driveway is a lot firmer and more solid than what I thought it would be. Bad news, the material that I took off of it, I will not be able to use for bedding around a new culvert pipe. And that's no big deal. It's just not very suitable material. There's lots of organics mixed in. It's almost like topsoil mixed with a little bit of stone. So I'm not gonna use that around a culvert pipe. Now, back to the good news. I don't think I'm gonna have to put the geotextile down, three inch rock, then the crusher run. I think I'll be just fine putting crusher run on this whole driveway, maybe three inches thick. And that'll be after I clean all the sides up, get rid of the brush, fix the ditches, all that stuff, get everything graded up the way I want. But I'm gonna leave the main part of the driveway alone because it's nice and solid, and then just top it all with a crusher run. And I think it'll be just great. Plus, that'll save me about 15, 1800 bucks, something like that. So, this is gonna be a three-part series. It looks like I'll have one more video. Apologize for that, but it's no big deal. I didn't show you how I set up the box blade. Uh, in the next three or four days, I'll do a video with the box blade at my mom's place, and I'll show you how I set it up. And then I'll kind of just do a wrap-up review of the three different attachments for maintaining your gravel driveway. The rear blade, the land plane, and the box scraper. So it'll be one more video in this series. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button. Click subscribe and when you do hit that little bell icon so you get notifications. Thanks.